guys welcome back to my channel if you want to know how i made these skirts this is the back of the skirts this is the side this is the front please stay tuned and keep on watching and if you have not subscribed before please subscribe to my channel and press the red notification button whenever i upload a new video you will be the first to know so see you in my next video bye for now and please stay tuned and watch how i made the skirt thank you Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made that sketch you saw on my on my front video picture. So what I'm using today is this measurement. This one. I hope you can say this one. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've already cut out the front panel and the back panel. So on the front panel, I have. Uh, there's that uh, length on the back panel. I have one inch for for my zip allowance, just one inch. So the length of the skirt is 21. So I'm having one inch for sewing allowance, half an inch for the knee level, and half an inch for this waist level when I'm going to add my um, lining. So here I have 22 inch on the exact spot which I've measured out. Here I have 22. It's exactly 22. So the first measurement I'm going to take on this skirt is from my waist to my hip length. So my waist to my hip length from my own measurement is 13. This is 13. So I'm going to rule it out. That is from my waist to my hip is 13. We shall rule it out now. Then from here, here is my waist already. My waist round is 36 plus one inch for that, plus one inch for my sewing allowance, making it 40. Make it 36, 37, 38, 38, 38 divided by 4 gives me 9.5. So 9.5 here is exactly this one. So I'll go to my tape, my material. This is 9.5. So I'll make it 10 for extra allowance. It's 10. Then my hip round is 43 43 plus 1.5 sewing allowance gives me 44.5 44.5 divided by 4 gives me 11.1 so 11.1 year this is 11.1 so i'll go to my little tape now i'm gonna sure show 11.1 so I have exactly level point one on the tape here. So from this spot to this spot, I'm going to cover up my hip shape. So here I'm going to be using my curve ruler to cover up my hip shape. You can use your hand if you want, but here I'm going to use my curve ruler to cover it out. Or you can use it from here like this if you want to. But let me use my cover ruler. To be covering it out. To meet this spot. So you see I've covered my hip round to make this spot here cover it out so from here to here is my knee level so I'm going to subtract 1.5 from this measurement the measurement I have here is 11.1 11.1 subtract by 1.5 gives me 
2.1 minus 1.5 gives me 9.6 so I'll go to my tape measurements and look for 9.6 from here this is 9.6 from here is 9.6 which is this place so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out. I finished cutting it out. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out the the back panel for the zipper allowance. Let me take the front out now. Here's the front. I'll put the back panel. Yeah. So now we have the back panel. place the zip and this is the front panel of the skirts the space here you see is for the zipper allowance so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to cut out the lining for the skirts what I'm going to do I'm going to cut out the lining but Unfortunately, this is the lining I have at home at the moment, so I'm going to use it because nobody will see the lining. It's going to be inside the skirt. So I'll just simply place it like this and trace out the shape. Place it like this and cut it out. Like so. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'll start sewing the back. So, this is the line I've got. This is what I have. So, I'm going to place it at the front. You can use a pink lining, but at home, this is what I have at home. So, I'm going to use what I have. So, I'm going to use this lining. This is the front of the, the front panel of the material for the back. So I'm going to place this lining on top like this. Then I will sew there. When I finish sewing it, I will now turn it to the back like this. You see, lining will not show. You see, I've already attached the lining to the front of the skirt. The next thing I'm going to turn it like this. So, turn it like this, then I'll flip it over, I'll take out one inch for my zip allowance from here, just like I did this one, this is the other pattern of the skirt, the other panel, like this. I do the same way I do this one inch for zip allowance. Now I'm going to attach this to the bottom of the skirt. So I'm going to take it like this. So I'll take the skirt like this. I'll make sure both sides is equal. This is the bottom of the skirt, like this one. I'll do it like this then I'll make sure this side and this side is equal now see if you bring it like this then I'll start doing my gathered like this I 
think I made a video on how to do your gather on your skirts. You can have a look at that, then you get an idea of what I'm doing from there. Then I'll take my pin, just one pin, do my gather like this. Then I'll pin it up. So I'll go this way again, do my gather as well. I'll pin it up again. So I'm going to do it like this all through the bottom of the skirt to the edge of this place. Then I'll twist it around and do it all through. So friends, I've seen I finished pinning it up like this. Pin it up uh, round. So I finished pinning it up. So I'm going to so make sure like um, half an inch from there, half an inch. So I'll sew it round, around, around. Then you can see this one. When I finish sewing it, then I will now sew this side together. I'll make sure it's make sure it's equal. So it's round down together. I finished sewing the skirt. You can see this together which I did at the bottom and this is the front of the skirt. I hope you like this tutorial and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and click on this video button whenever I uh, send a video you'll be the first to know. So thank you for watching my video and um, please subscribe, please subscribe. Okay I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now!